हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रोसाइक्लिक रिएक्शन व्हिच इज अ टाइप ऑफ पेरीसाइक्लिक रिएक्शन द लेक्चर हैज बीन डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स पार्ट वन एंड पार्ट टू पार्ट वन डील्स विद द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोसाइक्लिक रिएक्शंस एंड पार्ट टू डील्स विद द इलेक्ट्रोसाइक्लिक रिएक्शन बेट बेस्ड प्रॉब्लम्स एंड द सोल्यूशन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस पार्ट वन An electrocyclic reaction is defined as an intramolecular reaction in which a new sigma bond is formed between the ends of a conjugated pi system to generate a ring that has an extra sigma bond and one less pi bond compared to the reactant. Electrocyclic reactions are reversible. In the reverse direction, an electrocyclic reaction is one in which a sigma bond in a cyclic compound breaks forming a conjugated system that has one less ring and one more pi bond than the reactant electrocyclic reaction can occur under thermal or photochemical conditions typical examples are conversion of 1,3 butadiene to cyclobutene and 1,3,5 hexatriene to 1,3 cyclohexadiene Before going into details of electrocyclic reactions we need to learn how to construct Huckel molecular orbital diagrams of different pi electron systems and different terminologies used in the electrocyclic reactions Huckel molecular orbitals of ethylene and any conjugated alkene can be constructed if we remember these three points number of pi molecular orbitals is equal to the number of carbon atoms over which the pi electrons are distributed the number of nodes in a molecular orbital is equal to n minus 1 where red dots represent nodes molecular orbital with n is equal to odd has plane of symmetry and does not have c2 axis of symmetry while molecular orbital with n is equal to even has c2 axis of symmetry and does not have any plane of symmetry we are first going to discuss Huckel molecular orbital diagram of ethylene which is the simplest alkene in ethylene there are two carbon atoms over which the pi electrons are distributed so the number of pi molecular orbitals will be two out of two one represented by psi 1 below the dashed line is bonding while other represented by psi 2 above the dashed line is anti-bonding psi 1 with n is equal to odd has plane of symmetry and does not have c2 axis of symmetry while psi 2 with n is equal to even has c2 axis of symmetry and does not have plane of symmetry according to the n minus 1 rule psi 1 with n is equal to 1 has 0 node while psi 2 with n is equal to 2 has 1 node where the red dots represent node in the case of 1,3 butadiene there are 4 carbon atoms over which the pi electrons are distributed so the number of pi molecular orbitals will be 4 out of 4 2 represented by psi 1 and psi 2 below the dashed line are bonding while the remaining two represented by psi 3 and psi 4 above the dashed line are anti-bonding psi 1 and psi 3 with n is equal to odd have plane of symmetry and don't have c2 axis of symmetry while psi 2 and psi 4 with n is equal to even have c2 axis of symmetry and don't have plane of symmetry According to the n minus 1 rule, psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 and psi 4 with n is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4 respectively have 0, 1, 2 and 3 nodes. Similarly, we can draw Huckel molecular orbitals of 1,3,5 hexatriene. In allylic system, 
or the system in which the pi electrons are distributed over odd number of carbons, non-bonding orbital is also present. In the case of allylic system, it is represented by psi2. The bonding orbitals, the non-bonding orbitals has zero energy. Con rotation and disrotation are the two terms frequently used in electrocyclic reactions. These two rotations govern the stereochemical outcome of an electrocyclic reaction. So, the proper understanding of these two terms is essential for the better understanding of electrocyclic reactions. In con rotation, the terminal lobes of highest occupied molecular orbital of open chain reactant rotate in the same direction either clockwise or anticlockwise to form product while in this rotation the terminal lobes of highest occupied molecular orbital of open chain reactant rotate in opposite directions one clockwise and other anticlockwise to form the product. Let us discuss how these two rotations affect the stereochemical outcome of an electrocyclic reaction. Suppose we have two reactants A and B such that under given condition A undergoes con rotation while B this rotation. The two groups A and B on the left terminus are respectively pointing in the same direction to the groups C and D present on the right terminus. Reactant A after con rotation gives product C. If you see the relative stereochemistry of groups A, B, C and D, we will find that in the product C, group A and B are respectively cis to C and D like reactant. So, we can make a generalized sta statement that after con rotation, two groups present on the two terminal lobes of open chain reactant pointing in the same direction will be cis in the cyclic product and those pointing in the opposite direction will be trans. Reactant B after this, this rotation gives product D. If we see the relative stereochemistry of groups A, B, C and D, we will find that in the product D groups a and B are respectively trans to C and D. So, we can make a generalized statement that after this rotation, two groups present on the two terminal lobes of open chain reactant pointing in the same direction will be trans in the cyclic product and those pointing in the opposite direction will be cis. Woodward Hoffman rule. Woodward Hoffman rule is a rule by which we can predict whether there will be a con or dis rotation in an electrocyclic reaction under the given condition. There are several methods for the derivation of Woodward Hoffman rule for the electrocyclic reactions. The simplest method is frontier molecular orbital method. This is also called FMO method. Homo and Glumo are known as frontier molecular orbitals. Derivation of Woodward Hoffman rule for electrocyclic reaction needs consideration of only homo of acyclic conjugated system. In the beginning, we have learned how to construct Haeckel molecular orbital diagram of ethylene and different conjugated polyens. We don't need to remember everything from that for the derivation of selection rule for electrocyclic reactions. Only the things which we need to remember is that the number of Haeckel molecular orbital is equal to the number of carbon atoms over which the pi electrons are distributed. Molecular orbital with n is equal to odd has sigma plane and does not have C2 axis of symmetry while molecular orbital with n is equal to even has C2 axis of symmetry and does not have plane of symmetry. We need to take care of the orientation of orbital lobes only on the terminal carbons. Let us derive the Huckel, uh, let us derive the Woodward Hoffman rule for 4n pi system. For this, we are taking cyclization of 1,3-butadiene 
to cyclobutene as a representative example. In 1,3-butadiene, there are four Huckel molecular orbitals, Psi1, Psi2, Psi3 and Psi4 and four pi electrons. Under thermal condition, Psi1 and Psi2 are fully occupied while Psi3 and Psi4 are fully vacant. So, under thermal condition, Psi2 will be homo. Since n is equal to even for Psi2, so it will have C2 axis subsymmetry and will not have sigma plane. Since we need to take care of the orientation of orbital lobes only on the terminal carbons, so Psi2 can be represented like the way shown here. The structure of HOMO is such that the orbital lobes on the terminal carbons need to rotate in the same direction to form the cyclic product, that is, the allowed rotation will be gone. Under photochemical condition, one of the two electrons from Psi2 enters Psi3, making Psi3 as HOMO. Since n is equal to odd for Psi2, so since n is equal to odd for Psi3, so it will have sigma plane and will not have C2 axis of symmetry. The structure of HOMO is such that the orbital lobes on the terminal carbons need to rotate in the opposite direction to form the cyclic product, that is, the allowed rotation will be disrotation. In 4n plus 2 pi system, the case is reversed. Under the thermal condition, the HOMO has plane of symmetry, so the allowed rotation will be disrotation. Under photochemical condition, HOMO has C2 axis of symmetry, so the allowed rotation will be con rotation. Based on these discussions, we can summarize Woodward Hoffman rule for electrocyclic reactions as shown in the table. For an, electro, for an acyclic conjugated system with 4n pi electrons, under thermal condition, the allowed rotation is gone, while under, photo con, con, un, under photochemical condition, the allowed rotation is disrotation. For an acyclic conjugated system with 4n plus 2 pi electrons, under thermal condition, the allowed rotation is dis, while under photochemical condition, the allowed rotation is gone. Now we are going to discuss torque selectivity in electrocyclic reaction. During electrocyclic ring opening process, pi donor substituents like alkyl, OH, methoxy, halogens tend to move outward to minimize the repulsive interaction with the pi system of polyene in the transition state, while pi acceptor substituents like aldehyde, carboxylic acid, ester, cyano, olefins, etc., tend to move inward of the polyene chains to stabilize the transition state by the interaction with the donor lobes of the p orbitals of breaking sigma bond. This preferential movement of substituents during the ring opening is called torque selectivity. For example, in reaction A, B and C, because of the pi donor tendency of methyl, methoxy and chloro, outward movement of groups resulted the formation of E isomer over Z isomer. In reaction D, outward movement of carboxylate group occurred to avoid repulsive interaction between the negative charge and the pi bond in the transition state. In reaction E and F, because of the pi acceptor tendency of aldehyde and carboxylic acid groups, inward movement of groups occurred that resulted the formation of Z isomer over E isomer. Electronic factor dominates over the steric factor during the electrocyclic ring opening process. For example, in reaction G, the strong electron donating methoxy group moves outward, forcing bulky tert-butyl group to move inward. In reaction H, the substituents at 3 and 4 positions are cis to each other. Open chain conjugate has 4 in system. So, under thermal condition, the allowed rotation will be gone and thus, after ring opening, both the groups will point in the same direction. 
This will be achieved when one group moves inward while other outward. Methoxy group with a strong donor tendency moves outward forcing, uh, forcing methyl group for inward rotation. In reaction I, inward movement of vinyl group during con-rotatory ring opening process resulted the formation of intermediate A which being 4n plus 2 pi electron system undergoes this rotatory ring closing process to produce product B. In reaction J during ring opening electron donor methyl group moves outward while acceptor nitrile or ester group move inward according to their nature. When both the pi acceptors are present at C3 position, inward con rotatory motion of the less bulky substituent takes place. For example, in K, aldehyde and ester both are pi acceptors, but less bulky aldehyde groups move inward during con rotatory electrocyclic ring opening to form C, which being a 4n plus 2 pi electron system undergoes this rotatory electrocyclic ring closing process to form product D. Similarly, formation of intermediate E and product F in reaction L can be explained. In reaction M, according to the nature of the substituent, inward movement of the vinyl group and outward movement of hydroxy group leads to the formation of intermediate G which being 4n plus 2 pi electron system undergoes this rotatory ring this rotatory electrocyclic ring closing process to produce product H. Product H after keto in altatominism converts to form a stable keto form H prime. Electrocyclic ring opening of cyclopropyl cation. Rearrangement of cyclopropyl cation into allyl cation is an example of a smallest ring system capable of undergoing electrocyclic ring opening process. The open chain conjugate that is allyl cation has 2 pi electrons or we can say 4 and plus 2 pi electrons. So according to Woodward Hoffman rule the process will be disrotatory under thermal condition. For more detailed discussion let us take the example of acetolysis of 1-tosyl 2,3-dimethyl cyclopropane. The orientation of leaving group affects the rate and stereochemical outcome of the reaction. Acetolysis of A having leaving group trans to the methyl groups is 4500 times faster than the acetolysis of B having leaving group cis to the methyl groups. A after acetolysis gives E isomer while B gives Z isomer. Removal of leaving group is assisted by developing double bond. During ring opening process, group trans to the leaving group moves outward while group cis to the leaving group moves inward. In compound A, both the methyl groups are trans to the leaving tosyl group, so both will move outward giving rise to EE allylic cation intermediate. In compound B, both the methyl groups are cis to the leaving group, so both will move inward giving rise to ZZ allylic cation intermediate. Attack of acetic acid on EE intermediate gives E isomer, while attack of acetic acid on CZ intermediate gives Z isomer. The greater stability of EE allylic cation compared to ZZ allylic cation is the reason for very high rate of acetolysis of A. Acetolysis of compound C having cis and trans methyl groups proceeds via ZE allylic cation and therefore produces a mixture of Z and E isomers. Hope this video would prove